Normal mapping is another way to simulate surface relief. It's a sophisticated kind of bump mapping. In a sense, normal mapping is the opposite from displacement mapping because with normal mapping you can convert complex geometry into a simple texture so that it will render very quickly. Normal mapping was developed for the games market where real-time performance is a must. To create a normal map you render geometry to a texture. Open the logo sample file. It contains a sign with geometrically modeled letters. I did this in the advanced modeling module. In order to get normal mapping to work, you have to create two different models. This is the high poly model, and it has about 4,700 polygons in it. Create a box using 3D Snap that matches the same form as the sign. Then rename it Sign Low Poly. It's important that the low poly and the high poly models be coincident. That is, they occupy exactly the same space. Then go to the rendering menu and choose Render to Texture or press 0. That will open this dialog box and we're really opening a can of worms here. There's a lot of complexity to it, but I'll take you through a critical path for generating a normal map. First of all, click the Pick button here in Projection Mapping and pick the High Poly Model. Notice that I started this process with the low poly model selected. Now I need to pick the high poly model. Make sure that projection mapping is enabled. And then scroll down to the output rollout. Click the add button and you have a list of available elements that can be rendered to texture. We want to create a normals map so add that as an element and down here we have the parameters for that. The target map slot should be bump. This is the component in the material. This is the bitmap size. Click 1024 by 1024 pixels so that the bitmap will have more resolution. Finally click output into normal bump and everything is set up. Click Render, and the normal map will be generated. Notice that the box automatically got a couple of modifiers. What we're looking at here is working with automatic flatten UVs. It takes the object apart and flattens it out. The normal map is in three colors, and each color represents a different surface orientation of the normals of, uh, on the object. So the process is complete. Let's take a look at it. I'll move the low poly model over and I'll turn off snap. And now we can compare high and low poly. The low poly object only has 12 polygons in it so it will render very quickly. I'll open the material editor and pick the material off of this object. It has the shell material and the purpose of this material is to handle baked textures. Here's the original material and here's the baked material. We want to render the baked material and see the original material in the viewport. Now let's check out the baked material. I'll go into it. And it's just a standard material with the object color turned into the diffuse color. I'll change this to gray. 
and open the maps rollout. It automatically created this normal bump map. Go in there and see that this is a map type. Within that, you'll find the bitmap representing the normal map. View the image and you'll see that it's in three colors. This is a unique type of bump map because it uses this color information to represent the illusion of surface relief. Now let's render it and take a look. So the high poly model looks better but it has a lot of geometry in it and that can be significant in a more complex scene. This object renders extremely quickly because it has a, a bump map that's based on a bitmap.